chungus. We all know what a chungus is, right? Chungus is... Uh, why don't you give us a definition? Chungus. Well, that's the thing that I learned about chungus in this research, is that it can mean many different things. It's not just the fat bugs bunny meme. It's so many different things with, with a, a much deeper history and lore behind it, which I didn't know. Mm. Okay. Well, good, because... But... Kind of like what we learned with the, uh, what was it, the ha hole? The oh, ha ha hole? hole? Yeah. So that's our baseline. We all know the Fat Bugs Bunny meme, right? Okay, so I, I was curious where the, because for a long time, I thought that the drawing of the Fat Bugs Bunny was something somebody now, today, had made. But um. it's not. It's actually in a Mary Melody's cartoon titled Wabbit Twubble, Trouble. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I corrected myself. It is Wabbit Twubble. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> that episode came out in 1941. And in the short, uh, Bugs Bunny, why he is fat is he is mocking Elmer Fudd. Because oh. there were a few episodes where they had redesigned Elmer Fudd to be an overweight man, not ah. the not the Elmer Fudd that probably everybody has in their mind, where he's relatively svelte. He's just got a giant I like, head. I always imagine him having noggin. kind of saggy skin. <laughs> yeah, I think nope. he's got. You're th yeah, I think you're thinking a droopy no. dog. No, yeah. no, I'm thinking like he's got like 80 year old man skin. <laughs> oh. So yeah, he was designed as a fat man uh, based on voice actor Arthur Q. Bryan's own physique, which, I mean, come on, guys. Oof. That's rude. I mean, <laughs> Don't sometimes it's nice to match the character to the voice, you know? And the reason they did this was, quote, to make him funnier. Oh, well, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> I take That's, back everything that I is said. That is quite rude. This is also, <laughs> by the way, 1941. So yeah, 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 yeah. Tastes mm, are different. Yeah. In 2017, there was an anonymous uh, 4chan user who posted the image of the overweight Bugs Bunny uh, on the literature board, and they're talking about Nick Land, who is an English philosopher. I don't know why they paired Fat Chungus with a philosopher. Because the internet's amazing yeah, sometimes, that's why. Some other people started using it as well. I have one, and these are all anonymous, so I don't know what the original post was, but there's one really ominous one that has Chungus, and with text that just says, how do we stop him? <laughs> yeah. I love that. He is coming. So that's where the image of, of Chungus came from. Sure. <clears throat> the word Chungus has a much more interesting backstory because it was... Uh, originally coined by English freelance video game journalist Jim Sterling, who used it in for various meanings without any sort of set definition. It was kind so of just a catch-all. So this is probably yeah. uh, this century word then. This hasn't... This ha does not predate this century. Or, I guess, last century. No. The 90s. No. Yeah, this is this is within the 2010s, the word Weird. I, I somehow... Hmm. I assumed for poorly... Uh, that the 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 word chungus probably was from like the 1400s or something. I mean, it, it it's one of those words where it's less. I was thinking about this when I was putting these notes together. It's less a word and more a feeling. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like it's like onomatopoeia. Yeah. When you it's it really <laughs> is that visceral. Yeah, it's like boing chungus. or ouch, yeah. zap. zap. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, he would apply it in different sentences to just kind of mean whatever he felt that day. Um, and it's part of, like, the quote-unquote random internet humor where you would give, like... It, it very much feels like, uh, like, lolcats sort yeah. of language. Like, I... Yeah, I can have cheeseburger. Exactly. <clears throat> like, misspelling things. The exact date when the word was first used is currently <laughs> owned, but is estimated to be prior to December 2012. And... It, this is its own separate Chungus thing, as we Ooh, know a it. Separate Chungus. Yeah, somebody on Twitter, uh, oh, June, <clears throat> June 28th, 2010, tweeted, There is a Chungus among us. Yes. And Absolutely. it doesn't mean anything, really. It's just a tweet that this person thought they liked how it sounded. The, the, the best tweets are like that. E truly. That's all that Twitter should be used for, and it's really, <laughs> just, since 2010, gone downhill. Just to inform people that yep. there's a Chungus Among Us. So, the, the tweet didn't gain much uh, traction until like eight or nine years later. 
Uh, the place where Chung Chungus really started to spread was on a website called Destructoid, which is like a, an internet gaming... Yeah, and a Destructoid. Yeah, so they had a podcast called Podtoid. <laughs> Destructoid's Podtoid. <laughs> That's fun. Where in episode 205, they had... It, it, it was titled Chicken Chungus Vampire Sex Surprise. Now, That's my favorite ice cream flavor. <laughs> <laughs> it's really full of umami. Yeah. Oh my god. So, the James Sterling that I referenced earlier, he was one of the hosts on this show, and he he's he wrote for Destructoid, and they had an article talking about the history of Chungus, and uh, they described it quote. It was an organic, independent expression of ironic horniness, fascination with bodily functions, and affectionate disgust with flesh in general. Over the next nine years, Jim Sterling would re regularly talk on podcasts about packing my chungus full of worms, running a train on my chungus, or any what? number of other sexual and or horrific, horrific acts involving what I thought were probably my private parts. This continues to this day. <laughs> like oh Jim themselves, God. Chungus is many things at once, and it has captured the imagination of thousands. Okay, I now Believe completely my chungus understand worms? Chungus, how do we stop it? Completely understand uh, it. We can't. I mean, with all things internet meme related, they come in waves. You know, so mm -hmm. Chungus has come and gone and come and gone and... Wait, um, this is the first coming of Chungus. <laughs> this is the technically the second coming okay, of Chungus. Okay, second coming. So we are in the sequel. The article goes on to say, those who understood it felt like they were part of a mainstream unfriendly inside joke and in that way found a special sense of community through it. Also, like many internet inside jokes, the persistence of time eventually led it to bubble up to the masses. So we see this all the time with memes. They typically start as some stupid one-off thing that someone said and never thought yep. would ever get picked up. Um, so that's kind of where it was or with the some, fan base. Or they did, did some stupid stock photo shoot that they didn't think anybody would ever see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already thinking about a franchise, boys. I've been thinking about, like, Chungus 3, Chun Finish Business. That's pretty good. Hey, Chun, I'm looking at the word Chun there. Can we incorporate Chun Lee from Street Fighter somehow? Sure. She can be the villain or the sidekick. Or, or the lover She's got of a great Chungus. sidekick. Mm. She's got a great sidekick. <laughs> because this meme was so heavily rooted in the fan base that like very specific people maybe were referencing elsewhere. And some people were speculating that Rick and Morty's Plumbus was maybe a reference to Chungus. Now, are, how familiar are either of you with Rick and Morty? I am familiar with the Plumbus. Yes. Can, I have not seen a single episode of Rick and Morty. So, um... When I was looking into, I, I looked up Plumbus because I couldn't really remember it, but I think there's some validity in this because the way Plumbus is described is as follows. An all-purpose home device. A, everyone in Rick and Morty universe knows what it does, so nobody ever explains how it works, which mm -hmm. feels very Chungus to me. It does. It's everything and nothing. But like what John said, that Chungus is a feeling. It's a feeling. It is it can, an entity. Yes, exactly. Um, it is without form. Um, <laughs> so. and, that, and yet has uh, many forms. <laughs> yeah. It so, is nowhere and everywhere all at once. So in 2016, uh, an official, uh, uh, what is it? Fucking Urban Dictionary definition was. Uh, <laughs> what is, was that fucking thing? Yeah. It, What's that fucking that thing? Uh, was created uh, that says coined by Jim Sterling of Destructoid is said to mean anything and everything including but not limited to a chunky anus <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> um Let's see. Uh, a Redditor ended up posting his own description of Chungus based on Sovereign's speech from Mass Effect Ooh, cool. The comment would later resurge as a copy pasta. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Kyle, stop. That was not me. Oh, it's John. <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> For the listener, John found <laughs> fucking spec art of Plumbus as an Apple oh product, and it's God. fucking grotesque. <laughs> I love that you were like, Kyle, fucking shut up. <laughs> John, dude. The, the comment uh, 
became a copy pasta, which I or does anybody else want to read this? Chungus has no beginning. Chungus has no end. Chungus is infinite. Millions of years after civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, Chungus will endure. Chungus is eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. We are but <laughs> rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. We touch Chungus's mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. <laughs> Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Our lives are measured in years and decades. We wither and die. <laughs> Chungus is eternal. Before it, we are nothing. Chungus imposes order on the chaos of organic life. We exist because Chungus allows it. We are, we will end because Chungus demands it. <laughs> Chungus transcends our very understanding. We cannot grasp the nature of Chungus's existence. Which, I mean, that's basically what we've been saying here so far, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that summed it up pretty well. We know Chungus. We know the word. We know its origins now. It sort of evolved over the years and became known as, maybe colloquially, I guess, as Big Chungus. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so, Big Chungus is also a separate thing that didn't have anything to do with fucking Bugs Bunny or Chungus. <laughs> It was okay. something else, dude. And the first instance of the Big Chungus meme was uh, came from a caption that somebody posted to Tumblr um, in 2016, and it contained an image of a Second Life character bearing the nickname Big Chungus, as well as a second I'll image showing here. a message from Big Chungus reading, gender is for That's smaller, cool. lesser beings. <laughs> oh my god. You remember uh, in the Mortal Kombat movie, uh, Goro? Oh shit, yes, Co uh, John, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like that, but if like the Goro head was just a guy named like Bill. Yeah, yeah, he's got a- sh Or Larry a, or something. Some sort yeah. of maybe vest on his large abdomen, tights and combat boots that look like, it's like fucking Roger Rabbit shoes. <laughs> It's oh, like a blue thought, collar was, white guy. I think it's lingerie. I think that's tights in a garter belt. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It, I be, see the garter a little bit there. It's kind of like a bralette and a... Uh, that's 100% what it is because now that I'm looking closer at, at the text that is accompanying the genders for smaller or lesser beings above it, it says, Oh my God, you have women outfit. <laughs> yes. Gender is for smaller, lesser beings. And that's what they're replying to. Yes. Was Big Chungus replies? So, I just I became a big fan of Chungus today. It, there's so much to Chungus. <laughs> the Second Life Big Chungus post was inspired by a different post by John Green, which users at the time were reblogging and editing to read various absurdities. A feature which has since also been removed from Tumblr. One edited caption read, "I love it when you call me Big Chungo." <laughs> <laughs> so. The original poster who whose character this was in Second Life says, around the same time, there were a bunch of nonsense words floating around like Scringus, as well as a joke, and I liked to mash them up. When I joined Second Life, I tried to make my username Big Chungo, but it was taken, so I went with Big Chungus instead. The true story behind Big Chungus is back in March, I made the meme to send to a friend when I was bored in class. He didn't think much of it. Over the summer, I sent it to another friend. He thought it was hilarious. So I made Big Chungus 2, <laughs> then 3, and so on. Then I just sort of forgot about it until two weeks ago when I thought, hey, let's post to our comedy heaven. It got some traction there, but the real traction came a week later when my friend sent me a, face, a post from Facebook of a kid who asked his mom for Big Chungus. Mm -hmm. That was later reposted and got 10 times more karma as the original. Later, that person DM'd me saying that they were a meme thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait. I think I've seen the screenshot of the kid asking for Big Chungus. Was it yes. for Christmas? He wanted so, Big Chungus? I, I remember seeing yeah, yeah, that yeah. as well. So the original image, though, is this one I'm about to send you, which is uh, Big Chungus, the video game for <laughs> PS4. <laughs> yeah, <seen> that <laughs> and it says, if you can see there, um, uh, featuring 
uh, Dante from <laughs> Devil May Care series. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Or Devil May, May Cry, Devil sorry. May Cry. The text is very small. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> That's such a shitty mock up of a yeah, game cover. Yeah, so too. this. It's so this is bad. the one that people probably know m m most for Big Chungus is as the video game meme. Uh, oh, there was the Big Chungus sub on Reddit that was created, but it didn't share any connection with the meme until it gained popularity later in the year. Um, when GameStop store manager Justin Laufer made a Facebook post sharing a story of a customer who wanted to purchase a game named Big Chuggus for PlayStation 4, which is where the image comes from. On the next day, there was a Twitter user who posted this whole fucking th interaction that just mm -hmm. says, I love GameStop Facebook groups for this reason. And it's that's the one that has the text screenshot that says, "Hey Travis, what would you like for Christmas? Give me at least four yeah, options." Yeah. And then it's the oh Big God. Chungus video game. I want Big Chungus for Christmas. Um, so between December twelfth and December seventeenth, the creator of the original image uh, posted Chungus sequels, which I have a few. So people then started making video game sequels to the Chungus series. Absolutely. <laughs> Oh my and, God. Knuckles. and Knuckles. <laughs> Big Chungus uh, and Knuckles. I have this cool. one. Do you get a free small sub from Quizmos? <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. That um, good right now. And then this one is Big Chungus 3. Yep. Home uh, Return Home of Moomoo. Xander Cage. <laughs> and it's, oh, and it's Homer Simpson and a Moo. I was way ahead of my time. <laughs> this one is produced by 343 Studios, which is fucking wild, dude. <laughs> Eventually, this morphed into Karen Chungus meme. If anybody remembers Karen Chungus. Oh. No, I don't know that one. So, so no, but. around January of 2019, we were heading into COVID territory. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, people were already apparently ramped up on the anti-vax movement. So somebody submitted a screenshot of a Car Karen Chungus to our big Chungus. It was widely circulated and there were a bunch of jokes about the anti-vax movement. And uh, eventually it kind of turned into like, do you remember the Mafia City memes? Yeah, So yeah, people yeah. were using this image of uh, Karen Chungus that was supposedly someone's, a real person named last name Chungus. <laughs> Karen Chungus uh, looks like her uh, heading photo is like a bunch of kids playing soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah. then she's got like a nice professional headshot here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with a nice floral blouse and her name is Karen Chungus <laughs> underneath Get it. Get all in, the details. <laughs> in bold. And it says um, uh, anti-vax mother of two beautiful children who are unvaccinated in all caps and new to Facebook exclamation point. And I, I can't help Just but notice here to that, this, make friends. that this person, <laughs> it says ad friend. This person is not a friend of this person. Yeah. Yes. The Just uh, documenting. The, the other, yeah, the other thing that I find suspect about this uh, is that it says new to Facebook. There's no mm -hmm. way an un uh, an anti-vax mother of two who <laughs> loves taking her kids to the soccer game would not would be new to Facebook. New to Facebook, yeah. They've yeah. had Facebook. She's known. Yeah. So as with a lot of memes that we discuss on this show, things escape containment and enter the real <laughs> world. And specifically, <laughs> Just, we have a breakout. <laughs> yeah, specifically, a lot of the time with the U.S. military and government fucking accounts. Yeah. I don't know why or how this keeps happening, but on October eighth, it's okay with me to be honest. October eighth, twenty nineteen, the official U.S. Army Instagram account shared an image of a howitzer adorned with the name Chungus alongside yeah. the captain. Big hashtag Chungus. Making history, the nine-man team from 3rd Cavalry Regiment recently earned the title of Top Gun. And uh, I was a little disappointed in how they adorned the howitzer with the word Chungus. Um, it's very small. It's not big enough, right? Yeah, it's very small. I it's think the gun is <clears throat> big. Uh, <laughs> I honestly have no <laughs> reference for how big the gun is, so that is a good point. True, true, true. Yeah, I mean, yeah those are the biggest <laughs> stencils they can get. <laughs> yeah, there were yeah. bigger <laughs> stencils. <laughs> what if each letter is like six inches tall? <laughs> uh, Guys, I have some Howitzer stats. 
Oh, you do? Yeah, give us those stats, baby. I want to. I want to try and figure out how I big think, those letters are. I think Chungus is actually a pretty apt name for this thing, dude. Okay. <laughs> the the M one nine eight howitzer weighs fifteen thousand seven hundred sixty pounds. Uh, fifteen thousand pounds. Yes, uh, okay. 15, 000, almost 16,000 pounds in both traveling and firing configuration and is 35.75 <laughs> feet long. Oh, my <laughs> Jesus <God>. Christ. <laughs> What's its wet versus dry weight, Kyle? Do you have those stats? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a big-ass gun. So Chungus on there, I mean, it's still probably pretty small, but... It's uh, it's not it's, a, it's not it's, it's not, not a little toy. either. It's not. It's not <laughs> yeah. So um, so that was the only instance I could find of somebody naming uh, uh, a thing in the real a world. War chungus. Machine. Yeah, a war machine chungus. <laughs> sure. Um, so <laughs> by 2021, it had reached like full on. Everybody knows Big Chungus, right? So much so that uh, the owners of the likeness of Bugs Bunny. Um, had released a teaser for their video, their turn-based uh, RPG game, Looney Tunes World of Mayhem, where <laughs> Big Chungus made an appearance oh as God. one of the characters. Like oh, is it? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I don't know. It's turn-based. I'm not sure if he was one of the, like, yeah, bosses or, or char playable characters. Sure, sure, sure. So I just took a screenshot of the teaser video, and in the video, <laughs> in the video, it starts out and it's like a planet and it slowly <laughs> zooms into the planet. And from behind the planet, Chungus emerges like Galactus from the Marvel Universe, <laughs> yeah. ready to eat the planet. Really incredible <laughs> so, modern yeah, art. He was eventually sort of uh, reclaimed by its owners, uh, put that. into a video game um, in 2021. Uh, I think this was the same year uh, the Space Jam sequel came out. Uh, uh, yeah. Space Jam, A New Legacy, and he does make an appearance, I think, as one of the background characters. Chungus is in Space Jam 2? Yes. Uh, he appears hmm. briefly as, as a background character, uh, just as that a little shit. Easter egg for all you wow. Chungus heads. Um, I <laughs> did, while, while we were sitting here, I wanted to just see... Uh, uh -huh. what mid journey would do? Oh, oh I was, yeah, I was about to do the same thing. This yeah. is incredible. Oh yeah. my god, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it I can't like, even talk. It's does horrible is actually perfect, does not, horrible and wonderful. Does not disappoint. It's horrible. I did then also input biggest chungus. Uh, okay, I like biggest oh, chungus better. I like biggest Ice chungus a is somehow cuter. I don't yeah, really I... like that all of these. He's standing on his hind legs and is like photo real. Yeah, that's bothersome. <laughs> it's so good. There's one. Right. The first one you sent. <laughs> the first one you sent, John, in the bottom left. I know. He looks like he stole Shrek's outfit. Yeah, he looks like Shrek. Why does he look like Shrek? <laughs> the one in the top left looks very confused it looks like his mother gave him that shirt and he's like i don't, I don't like know it. it doesn't fit i don't know how to wear this thing <laughs> so bottom right's my oh favorite God. But anyways um, it doesn't matter so i did actually have a screenshot from uh space jam a new legacy and he he he's more than just a background character i think at some point when lebron james meets bugs he does morph briefly into Big Chungus. Oh, wow. Now, the thing about this, though, that I really don't like is the new art style of Looney Tunes. I like this, this arrow's like, in case you missed <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, here he is, <laughs> the fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but the art style is what really bothers me, and I feel like they 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 did our boy dirty a little bit. There's, too, ma up there's too many sh shadows and highlights. Yeah, they're trying to give him like that three-dimensional like look that mm -hmm. the original doesn't really have, and the lines mm -hmm. are much thinner, and it makes him look frail for being so thick and rotund. Yeah, I mean, it's, he's a thick boy. It's it's a complaint and, uh, of the Looney Tunes style I have in general, but right. that's a whole other sure. thing. If if we're talking about it, he's you know, well over uh, seventy years old. That's true. That's true. You know what? He yeah. might be getting a little he's, frail. He's frail. Yeah. So cartoons can die, guys. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know the answers to these questions. There was another video game where Chungus uh, appears. It was called Multiverses. And there was speculation 
that he was gonna enter the multiverses as a player character because Warner Brothers took out a uh, patent. Uh, is it a patent? Copyright, sorry. Copyright. On Big Chungus through the European Union Intellectual Property Office. Somebody found mm-hmm. it and reported it to Twitter on August 27th, 2022. So very recently. <laughs> There might be a playable <laughs> oh, <laughs> Chungus wow, character. Cool. Um, and Multiverses, I guess, is like their version of Super Smash Bros. And when this happened, even more video game uh, covers were made. So I have a couple more that I want to share with you. Ooh, I uh, love it. I this love one it. is uh, more a more recent video game. Uh, <laughs> nice. Cool. Big Chungus 5. Uh, it's like GTA. For mm-hmm. Grand Theft Auto. And then this one I only saved because it is so low quality. Um, <laughs> Chungus Creed. Chung- Chungus is Creed. Yeah, Chungus is Creed. If you look at his arm uh, with his little wrist knife, it's mm-hmm. just it's, <laughs> it's, pasted over the top. God. What's it? Rated G for what? Uh, it says, oh, mods oh, are mind. gay. <laughs> wow. What? That's a, like a that's definitely a Reddit joke. Oh, and it has a Reddit logo in the lower right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So th- that all tracks. That all tracks. Nah, so, there we go. We do it that. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right, there it is. That was a shitty Reddit joke about the mods always being gay, gay in a derogatory yes. way. Yeah. Although now we've kind of, I feel like anytime the word gay is used, it's always like in a positive way. Like it's totally gone like a 180 to what we grew up with. Where like I got called that all the time. And I wasn't, and it was definitely an insult. But now, if somebody called me that today, I'd be like, oh, thank you. That's so nice of you. That's great. Yeah, I'm glad that you, I'm glad you think of me in that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just like, I wish. Eventually, people turned, mashed up uh, Ugandan Knuckles and uh, Chungus, and that's a horrifying combination. Um, it's only a, it was only a matter of time. Which uh, Ugandan <laughs> Knuckles was a topic I was getting. Oh my god, it's even worse than oh I god. thought. I hate that. <laughs> he looks like he's melting, like one of those Spider Man yeah. ice creams you used to get. Kill me! Um, so, Ugandan Knuckles. Uh, Ugandan. Chungus. <laughs> Ugandan? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> these All these G's in these names. Um, you sound like a, a, a war a war hawk. Ugandan. Ugandan. So eventually somebody made a an IMDB listing for a movie, uh, Chungus. Uh, and um, mm-hmm. I'll give... I don't know, John, do you want to do another do, reading for the synopsis of... Uh, people, if, <laughs> yeah, if they think mind. they can get money, if they think they can make money off something, they will be like, movie, fucking video well, no, this game, is, screenplay. This is not real, Kyle. Does somebody just... Put okay, this up, okay. and it it has the. I'm pretty sure the cover for the poster of this movie is mm-hmm. the video game cover, just called cool. Big Chunkus, and this is the synopsis. In the beginning, <laughs> there was nothing, but then there was Chungus. The Chungai were a peaceful civilization watching over humanity for over a millennium, never interfering except for a couple of humans sacrificed here and there. <laughs> But then, the Ugandans attacked. <laughs> Chungus is all around the world were targeted. Now the fate of the Chungai relies solely on one man, who must forge Big Chungus, the video game. The video game before time runs out? Oh, Chungus the video game before time yeah, runs out. Yeah, so forge man, the video that. game. We must God forge the game. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly. It's one. okay. One read. John, it's a cold read. It's a cold yeah, read, yeah. dude. You weren't prepped cold for read. that. There are also a bunch of weird ripoff like uh mobile games featuring big chungus like okay. th- it's oh, looks wow. awful. insane <clears throat> um everyone's giving it like a 10 out of 10 like it's the best fucking thing ever my favorite one so far <laughs> Uh, it is like, I would absolutely recommend it to all my friends and family. Some adult content, including murdering animals, but other than that, completely child friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Chungus Rampage is by far the greatest gaming experience of all time. The story is wonderfully written, so many unexpected turns and well-written characters. The combat is fantastic, it innovates on every level. It uses every pixel on my phone and every bit of the processor to create the greatest graphics of all time. Like, people are just like memeing how fucking good the game is. It's probably terrible. But everyone's like... was that... Was even the sub headline is Big Chungus's Big Chungus life is starting in a forest and so many enemies to finish. <laughs> <laughs> 
So apparently some of Big Chungus' friends are Keanu, Bungus, and Scrunkly. Scrunkly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So those are some more of those uh, made-up words, nonsense words. Uh, that... <laughs> <laughs> this guy, disc user Chubby Chicken, Chubby Chicken, uh, says, First, uh, deciding to play this game, I knew not what to expect. Things hadn't gone my way for a while. My pet rat died, and I twisted my ankle mm -hmm. playing poker, leaving me unable to walk. However, Wait. after, e after <laughs> even after the openings, just the opening season of the game, I knew this was life changing. The day I installed the app was the day my life changed. The game lifted my spirits and showed me that there were there are big problems out there. My twisted ankle and pet rap corpse could not compare to losing a forest or a home. I do. The last thing I do want to point out: we didn't even mention the fucking screenshots. But there's one where Chungus is lying on the ground and a uh, pilgrim is shooting him with a musket. <laughs> oh, um, fuck. Chungus fuck. is also starting a house fire, not putting it out. Um, he's also punching a cow <laughs> in another one. Yeah, um, boxing And then glove. I think these are maybe him in jail with his three other friends, Keanu, Bungus, and Scrinkly. <laughs> um, Bungus so and Scrinkly. I kind of want to download this game. Oh, I don't think I can because I don't have an Android. I'll Kyle, do download it, yeah. this game and I, play I, it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. At, at the beginning of this episode, I uh, mentioned something called Chungus 2. And I, I don't play Minecraft. I don't get it. But somebody in Minecraft made a virtual 8-bit computer processor inside Minecraft using okay. the physics engine and simple machines like torches and pistons. The processor that the Minecraft player made is t later called it Chungus 2. Okay. <laughs> the weird, I don't know why I had these in my notes. I, I must have seen one headline about Chungus 2. And when I went to go look into it, I was like, oh, it's just some guy that named his weird Minecraft processor that plays 8-bit video games Chungus 2. So people, again, Chungus is anything you want it to be. Proven yeah. by literally everything we've just talked about in your heart <laughs> in your mind everywhere it, yeah so but the 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 chungus 2 thing is kind of wild because it's like a giant physical thing well physical in the minecraft sense that runs sure. it's a graphing calculator when connected to an in-game screen controller it uh it runs video games so it's like a, a virtual console playing playing a video game yeah. in a video game is so dumb. weird it's so weird. I just did it um, in Cyberpunk the other day. Yeah. Um, but the project demonstra demonstrates the principles of computer science in a visual and immediate way. So it's also kind of a learning tool in that sense. So mm. um, not all of what we talked about tonight was awful and horrifying. Um, Chungus <laughs> only 2 is pretty Only 60%. Chungus 2 is pretty cool, uh, even though I don't really understand it. Um, but that's the history of Chungus. Thank All the you. Chunguses and Chungai. Yeah, wow. Um, I thought it was just one screenshot of Fat Bugs Bunny, and that was kind of it. But no, it's multiple parts all coalescing together at the perfect time and space in history. And I guess there's something beautiful about that. Yeah. <laughs> what you say? One. Uh, what was the word you used when we, we, we laid eyes upon the mid journey? Horrible. Horrible. Yes. Horrible. I think yeah, this that sums been, it up. Yeah, this has been a, a horrible episode. Um, but uh, truly. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know what we learned here um, aside from Chungus. What's well, a history lesson, baby? It's a lecture. Yeah. Yeah. We got yeah. it. So um, that's our episode. Good yeah. luck out there. <laughs>